All right, all right, all right. Today is a great day. I'm happy to see everyone. You're all welcome. You are all welcome, welcome, welcome. To our core fans, lovers of the very first free reality TV theater practice training show online tag, first step to stardom, watching us from Europe, Asia, Nigeria, worldwide. Welcome. Welcome to First Step to Stardom. See me for the very first time. I'm Nkechi Discovery, the founder of First Step to Stardom and an idea development consultant, a movie maker based in United Kingdom. Please consider to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you will enjoy our pop fury on the Lutet show every Thursdays, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Nigerian time. We'll be having a graduation induction today for the season six participants who has gone through an intensive theater training, uh, who have gone through intensive uh, training on first step to stardom. I'm excited. We have energetic, passionate, and talented participants participating from Paris, Dubai, Italy, Cameroon, and Nigeria. First step to start up is indeed international and the very first online theater school, first of its kind online. I'm elated. Our graduates accru our graduates are cruising to their graduation. And the contest stage is coming, and the ultimate winner will be unveiled. I can't wait. I can't wait to identify with the winners of this. Season six is going to get interesting as we move along. I'm excited to be on board again. It's a beautiful Thursday evening, and I'm streaming from United Kingdom. At this point, let's welcome our participants, starting from Tracy DK, participating from Paris. Tracy. Hello, everyone. I'm Tracy, and I'm streaming live from Paris. And hi, guys. Nice. nice to see you, Tracy. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. Yeah, marvelous Ine participating from Bayasa, Nigeria. How are you? I'm very fine, Ma. It's nice to see you. Where's Ine, Marvelous? Hello, everyone. I'm here, Ma. Very fine, Ma. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you all. Welcome. I'm Ine, Marvelous, streaming from Nigeria, Bayasa State. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you, ma. Daniel Ayabe, a.k.a. Danny Boy, streaming from Dubai. How are you? I'm very fine. Thank you, ma. Hi, everybody. Good day. Um, my name is Daniel, also known as Danny Boy. I'm Nigerian, currently residing in Dubai, and that's where I'm streaming from. Good to see you here, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. Have a nice day. Bye. Welcome, welcome. Precious Ajaye participating from Nigeria, Abuja, to be precise. How are you? Hi, everyone. I'm fine, Ma. I'm happy to be here again today. I'm streaming from Abuja. I hope you enjoyed the program so far. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Shusha Purity participating too from the giant of Africa, Nigeria. How are you? On mute, please. Hi, people. My name is Suche Purity. I'm streaming from Nigeria. Delta State precisely. So good to be with you for today. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Who have I not mentioned? Um, Nasakri. Tari, streaming from Italy. How are you? <laughs> good evening, everyone. Yeah, now maybe that boy, that young student, everybody saw being with this man, you know, great go to school, you know, you not know, come out from school. So my name remains your own boy, Nosa Harry Terry, streaming all the way from Italy. Peace off, everyone. Just watch and see at, how it goes. We are all here to entertain you guys. So just sit back and relax. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. That's you're welcome. Who else have I not mentioned? I will not forget Jennifer Oyari streaming from Nigeria. How are you, Jenny? I'm fine, ma. 
Hi everyone, my name is Rira Jennifer. I'm coming from Nigeria, Lagos State, Lekki precisely. Hi, good to see you. Yes, that's Jennifer streaming from Nigeria. Who else have I not mentioned? Um, I think that's everybody for now. Um, unfortunately, our passionate uh, and our Martin streaming from Cameroon um, had a little bit of issue, but the Lord will see him through. I believe that um, next week streaming, he will be here with us live. We're putting him in our prayers that uh, Almighty God will touch those who are holding him to release him. And no matter wherever you are, we send our love and our prayers. I know they are with you. Moving forward, let's welcome our superstar in the house, talking about Steve Abel, a.k.a. Ajabo, on the last screen. How are you, Ajabo? Good to see you again today. I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Thank you very, very much. I'm welcome. You're welcome. Our director and producer, David White. How are you? Nice to see you. You're welcome. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm good. I'm fine. Nice to meet you two people today. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Thank you all. All right. Our fans and family stream. I mean, watching this ebook. Making reality TV program has just, I mean, seeing our participants who are really doing well from around the world. They are cruising their season. They are cruising it well to the fullness. And this is their graduation induction. Next week is going to be their graduation. So before we go forward, if the control room is ready, let's go for one quick, beautiful break. And when we come back, the new Discovery TV London in extension, first step to start and we'll continue. Don't go away, guys. I saw you through. Why are you not? Come carry your car, Why are you calling me from your house? What is it? Okay, sorry, a day meeting with my board of director. All right, I'll call you. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. 
So if I mean you guys this place today, now my time bomb be this. Anybody who like quality say what they enjoy, enjoy the juju today. I will tell her say, Mama don't resume what I And then we can get like that, say the one for this life. Oh. Hmm. We just enjoy that like that now. Oh. Yeah, man. Hey, you quit. You want to do? Hey, hey. For my own. Oh yeah, no. Nah. I will tell you say I did operation today. Kalastika. Finish that guy, they come here. Eh? Oh yeah, no. Nah. Come carry your car, make I see. That's you want more to do. You the place. Come carry him now. Nah. You want. You want them to do. You don't want to arrange yourself. You don't want to eat about 37, Nabi. I got to eat 36 for you now. Nah. You the man. But this place is good day, Nabi. College of Judges. I would like to say a big congratulations to you. Oh, you guys are good. I'll be thoroughly entertained. You guys are out of this world. I mean, I like the presentations. I like the interpretation, the expression, the body language, the lines you guys use, and the vocal dynamics. I mean, I like the swing of the performance. I'm proud of you guys. That was a nice one. I love the break. I was entertained. And I know our viewers viewing this epoch making TV show from around the world, you all are entertained as well. Our College of Judges are sitting, taking their pen and taking records. Oh, they are. First step to start off is global, like we say on this platform. It's international. It's a reality show and a film school. First of its kind, connecting like minds from around the world. Welcome back, fans. Please remember to share the live stream. 
Don't just come and watch. Share the live stream to invite people. All right? Invite friends and family. Make this show a global show. Okay? Also, give us thumbs up. There's a hand there on that YouTube. Just click on it. Give us thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. We have a dollar sign by the side of this live stream. Click on it and, and support this um, uh, platform, okay? You can also be a member like other people are as well. If you click on the join button, there's a join button by the live stream, click on it to be a member of this platform to support what we are doing. It's a charity organization. When you click on it, there's a di there are different perks that we're offering. Depending on the one you choose, we can shout you out on our live stream you can see our behind the movie, the behind the scene movies that we're going to be shooting with our with our graduates connecting the superstars of Nigerian Hollywood. Yeah, we can do collaboration with you. We can do depend on the pegs that you choose. So click on the peg and join our membership and support us to grow. All right, it's going to be exciting today. Our uh, facilitators are ready to teach. So let's move straight on the next segment as a handover to our facilitator, our one and only actor, Steve Abo, to tutor our participants on set preparation. You know, what is set preparation? Before you go on set, what are those things that you need to do to make you outstanding, to make you to become a demand? People will be like, Mr. Johnson is a demand. Everybody wants to see Mr. Johnson's film. Um, when uh, this lady was on board, Jenny Bibb, she was a demand. Everybody wants to watch her film. What are those things that she, they do before they go on set? Today, our legendary actor is going to tutor you on what you need to do so that at the end of the day, when you go into the Nollywood movie making industry, you become a demand. As I bring on stage, Steve Abel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um... To discovery. Um, okay, participants, thank you very much once again for this week. Like every other week, I'm a very busy person. As I talk to you now, I just came in from Abuja to Enugu, where I went to one of my senior colleagues, Tiwo who had a problem with the Nigerian security offices. I will just finished, uh, I went to Abuja to tell him, brought him back to Enugu, and I'm not supposed to behave by them, but I have to rush to the AGN office. If you can see, this is Actors Guild of Nigerian office in Enugu, and I'm wearing their clothes and everything, because I value this moment very, very well. Uh, this is a moment I want all of us to value. I have even one of uh, my colleagues here, a senior actress, they all came in watching me do this. Now, first of all, let's come to set prepare. How do you get prepared when you are coming on set? A very practical something. Casting happens at a speed of life. When they are doing the casting, they cast you according to what your performance in the auditions. Is either your audition to be accepted or to be rejected. And once you are accepted after the audition, the question is, what next? Now, the last thing that is that you are given a script or a character, a role to play in the movie. And when you are given this, what next? You are now set to roll. When you are rolling, you always think about how do I get prepared to go to set? So many things involved. I'm still going to, I'm going according to the uh, book line, the book I have written all the time before you. One, the minute you get booked, you get to work. Because work is very, very important. Last time we talked about your relationship with the cast and the crew. So they have you prepared to see these people. First thing you have to do before going on set is you need to learn your lines. If you don't have your lines, your, your lines, which means you cannot go on set. It's just like going to the classroom, you don't have your pen, you don't have your viral. Now, if you once go on set, your line must be ready with your lines. That is why last time David White recommended mirror rehearsal. So you must rehearse properly and get your lines properly. And I told you something, you don't need to cram your lines. Internalize them, get the story, get to know the stories. 
know the story, know your character, and then get prepared with it and get your lines. Now, when you get your lines, you do your homework. You get do your homework properly. Then have a wonderful rest. Before you go to set, you must have a proper rest. Relax your mood. Relax your face. You must see that relaxation in your person before you can meet up a tense situation in the or on the set and before you can go before the camera. Now, don't forget, the camera sees everything. When you are stressed, the camera sees it. The camera is one of the highest gossips we have in the world. It's official gossip, it's audio gossip, it gossips about you so, so much. That is why most of us rely so much to do some makeups before going to Zeto, hide some of our wrinkles, hide some of our weaknesses, hide some of our uh, stress. Because the camera is a gossip. The camera sees you in and out. At times, the camera can even see your heartbeat. But at times, when you go and say, for the first time, you're seeing big actors. Oh, this person is on this, this person is on this. It is the heart start beating. Your camera captures it. So you must have some good rest and have some plenty uh, relaxation. Now, the next thing you do is you don't stay late. If you're going on set tomorrow, don't stay late to, in today. Go home early. It will make you, it will make everything easy for you. Now, if you don't make choices about your character and your action, it will show. So you must make choice. You must be sure of what you are doing. Prepare from home, as I said earlier. When you come on set, it's an easy job for the director, the job for the casting, for the location, every other person that is a crew, even the producer, values you so much. So get yourself properly prepared from home. Now, you will slow the set down. If you don't have your lines, if you don't have your lines, you will reduce the speed of the production. You will now incur debt for the producer. You will incur the wrath of the other actors because, oh, come on, this person is not getting lines. You're wasting my time. By then, when the other actors get upset because of you, they now go down in their own acting, which means you have cost that particular production or storyline the value. So you must be prepared so that you don't cost that production the value or you cost them more money. Because the more you stay on set, the more the equipment hired and the artists get stressed and everything goes on. So you need not to slow the production and you need to cost more this thing. Now, no matter how small your role is, it is serious. No matter how small, even if it's a walk on or you call it work campus, please be prepared for it. Be prepared and so that fall in love with the camera and let the camera fall in love with you. And your preparedness on set shows that this camera do what? Love you. Doesn't see your stress. Even if you fight at home with your husband, with your friends, with your siblings, or in your workplace, like those of you that will rush from work to say, please make sure you relax a little bit. At times, before you go on set, probably, take some deep breath. The breathing, breath out exercise is very, very important for you. And don't forget, you need, an, you need to exercise yourself. You need to get to know what you are doing. Now, now, you have to understand what coverage is. By this, I mean you have to know that every, not every scene that we have covered, but you continue doing it. There's a continuation of repeat from different angles. So you must prepare yourself. You must be agile. You must be strong. When they say run, you must have the energy to run. When they say sit, you must have the energy to sit. When you say jump, that is why exercise before going on set is very, very important. And it is one of the basic things you do before you go on set. Exercise regularly so that you can be fit in and out. And when you exercise regularly, it does what? It cleanses your mental, uh, uh, your mental redemption. Two, when you are going on set, please remember that the camera is there for you. That is the audience you are seeing. That is the people you are seeing. The director is observing your mistakes. So you must be prepared to contain the director's uh, reproach. Oh, come on, will you do it this way? Come on, do it. You must have that temperament 
to understand the vibration of the director or the other you must have the temperament to understand it. And what are we saying? You must have the temperament of tolerating people, tolerating remarks, tolerating side talks, tolerating almost everything that comes to you on set. Basically, you have different shots. It blows up as uh, David Wright said last time. You must understand that these things are hectic and you must adapt to them. Don't forget that you must have one basic thing. That's humility of obedience. Obeying the directors. Oh, do it this way, do it this way, do it. Some directors can take 15 different shots just for one scene of uh, 30 seconds. They will take 15 different shots. You must have a temperament of tolerating these things. So, patience, perseverance is very important in what you do. There are three key factors to remember when shooting a scene. First, you must have it at the back of your mind that whatever you do in the wild, in the wild shot, you will do in your other settings. So you must be focused. Remembering that your continuity in whatever you do is important. That is why you must be prepared before going on set. What you do on the wild shot is the same. That's why at times we don't encourage too much escalation. Using your hand, hey, this, hey, that. Because on close up, your hand could be like this, up, 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 hitting your chest. On the, on the wide, your hand is like this. So it makes the next of the whole thing and you give the editor so much problem. So you need to be very, very careful and understand and give attention to all these things. Then you have what is called moving. Your moving could be distracting. Your movements could be so distracting. What is your modulations? They modulate at the... I, 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 the first phase, I would then you ready for so lot to do. Then at the other phase, you would modulate. So these are the important things you must prepare yourself before you go. So that modulations goes either this way or this way, not this way, this way. If this director so, so, I mean the editor, so much problem. So at times you have done a very good job in the, in maybe in the close up or in the wide shot. But because you are not properly tutored on continuity of that same thing you have done on the wide and the close up, you will not have problems with the editor. The editor will say, which can actually be this now? I think I don't want this. So when next time they bring a screen and that editor or the director is among those doing the audition, they will not want to cast you because you are a problematic uh, uh, character. But if you are well prepared, they don't say, ah, you know, no, no, this person, go and get this person for me. The person is good because there's continuity in the shooting and everything he you know, uh, does. And don't be excessive, don't overreact. When you are acting, prepare yourself to be precise. Because when people clap for you, you want to overdo. When you start overdoing things, you start going down. You start going down. Because people clap for you, and then you want to add. That addition is a problem to the editor, is a problem to the storyline, is a problem to the entire production. It may cost you your next film. Now, it's a hard lesson to learn for. Uh, this is a hard lesson for screen actors. For stage, act stage actors know this very well, because they're very pre prepared. One mistake on the stage is a mistake that can kill the entire production. In, uh, in screen acting, you could be caught and joined because we're talking more about screen acting this time around. So, first, be prepared, get your mindset, have enough exercise, have enough rest, be mentally and physically fit into anything you do. I have a temperament of humility, temperament of understanding, temperament of continuity, temperament of smiling when you're supposed to smile. Don't always forget that your character matters a lot. If you have to, you know, you should break down for a cry in a feed. Be prepared before coming and say that at this point in time, I need to share with you. Already prepare yourself for that. It makes the work easy for the director and we want you next time. But if you are waiting for onions and rub at the uh, production house, you may have a problem. Now, I think I don't want to take the time. I want to say, look, 
get always prepared. Remember, your daily exercise is very important. You must exercise. You must do mental exercise and physical exercise. You must be fit. And don't, one, don't ever try to stereotype yourself. Oh, I want to be acting like a, a, a Kechi Discovery. I want to be acting like, I want to be directing like uh, David White. I want to be like this person. Always, yes, I want to be like them, but add something to what you want to do so that there can be some originalities in your own action. Because if I want to cast you, I'm not casting you because you are like a Kechi Discovery. I'm casting you because you are you. It's an original signature. So don't make it look like somebody says signature. Don't forget, my lecture today, or what I'm telling you now, is not based on a theater a magazine or theater syllabus is based on practical things that I've seen happen to people, bring people down on sets or take people up on set. Remember, some bad actors could be good actors because they listen to the director. Some bad actors could be good actors because they are humble and they come on set well prepared and open their mind to take everything out or to remove so many things. Be one of those who is humble with the temperament of good acting. Once again, I welcome you. Don't forget I'm doing this inside the office of Actors Guild of Nigeria in Ugo State Chapter. I want to thank you for giving me this space. And always remember, I just told you something. This industry is moving. The share they just gave me now is a collaboration job with the Enugu State Board. It will happen for you. Come up and make it happen. Something in Enugu today with the government is happening wherever you are. So, participants, I wish you the best of luck. Don't forget, always be prepared mentally and physically. God bless you. Clap. Unmute and clap. Thank you, sir. Everybody, unmute and clap. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We really appreciate you. No mute the phone again. Because it's not easy. Ajebo has been stressed out. The AGM president uh, uh, nominated him to go to Abuja, you know, because of our senior colleague who had an issue and was taken to Abuja. He just flew in from Abuja right now and moved to the AGM office. He's not even eaten. What a big sacrifice just because of you participants. It's a very big sacrifice. Ajebo, thank you so much. We appreciate you. We can't do anything than to say, may God bless you. May God continue to, you know, oil your, your head, you know, make you more greater than you've always been. Thank you so much, Ajibo. Hello to our participants and our audience, viewers from around the world. You will agree with me that this kind of teaching can only come from an experienced actor. He's teaching you based on experience. Ajebo has been in the Nollywood industry for over decades. He's not telling you words from, from magazine, like he said, rightly said, or from maybe something somebody told him. He's telling you things, practical things that he has experienced, things he has seen, and he has put them into practice and it has helped him a lot. You know, so if you take note of all that he has taught you today and put it into practice, man, sky will not only be your limit. Adequate preparation matters a lot. Yeah, thank you so much, Ajabo. I appreciate that lecture. I also learned a lot. <laughs> Hello, oh. can you start, please? I, one of my colleagues here, I'll come over. So just to see yes, how like Ajabo, please. I can you hear me now? Yes, go ahead. I have one of our senior actors here. She, she just came over and I said, look, I'm having this thing. Rita Arum. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rita Arum, how are you? I'm going to say hello to her. Hello, ma. Hello, ma. Hello. Hello, madam. Nice, nice to see you, ma. Nice to see you. <laughs> okay, and I have another one. Sorry, please. I have one of our biggest uh, producers now. She just produced one of the biggest films. She will. 
since one of the Nollywood uh, best paid uh, writers now is she's here with me. And Thank you very much. I can unmute now. Who else do we have, Ajebo? Who else do we have there? I want to see all of them. Sorry, we have a lot of like, Chimote Lagu is outside having some interviews. And I don't want to disturb his interviews because he just came out from underground prison, so we should allow him to have some rest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so next but time, what? I promise you, I will bring actors to talk to you people. In case you please, I want to beg for something. Can I be excused so that I can just have some interviews? Some press people are waiting for me. That's if I can fine. be excused to have some interview with them, please. That is fine. Your excuse. That is fine. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right. God bless you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Oh, there, 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 there. It's obvious that this is the Star Makers platform, one of its kind. This is the only place, a legit platform, where you see the Nollywood superstars. Yeah, who is that? Hi. Who is that? Are you talking to me? Sorry. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm only just saying that this is Star Makers platform. Yeah, we are good to go. You've seen the practical thing. Oh, All is streaming from the AGM office in Enugu, Nigeria. And you've seen some of the movie stars that are there with him. So basically, we are not marking about. This is just a program we initiated to support you guys to learn and get to the level you want to get in the entertainment industry. So give it your best shot, always come prepared. Do all you know you can to end your contest professionally because first step to start up is one way to Nollywood. All right, moving forward, let's spotlight our director and producer. I hope you're all taking note in the person of David White to tutor us on a very sensitive topic that can either make you or my you when you're talking about in the entertainment industry the development of character and appropriate moral conduct. What, how is your character like? How do, how do people perceive you? You know, what do people say about you when you are not there? You know, I, as David White is going to tutor you on some attitude, some character that you should exhibit to push you to the level you're meant to be. You're welcome, David. Yeah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. According to your time, greetings from David White. And uh, what we have here today is a uh, development of character and uh, appropriate moral conduct. You see, when we said, uh, when we are talking about uh, character, character is that thing in you, how, what people will say about you when you are not there, not when you are there, then that will not lead us to moral. When we are talking about character, it's the moral in which you were brought up as a child. This topic is, an, is a broad topic. And uh, the government, the parents, and you as an individual have a role to play in character development. Then what is moral and character development? Talking about moral, morality is a system of belief about what is right and compared to what is wrong or bad. Then moral development is referred to change in moral belief as a person grows older and gain maturity. There are 10 things that you, me, and every individual needs to know about moral development. As a parent, which you already are or you are going to be in the future, you hope 
to help your children, our children, to develop strong moral character. Because when they develop from the children, from the children to the adults, the way they behave in the society, the way they associate with their colleagues, the way they exhibit their character outside is from the home. That is why sometimes it is said, charity begins at home. Then we have to look at these things that you or me as a parent needs, needs to instill in our children. They include compassion, contesty, cooperation, responsibility, fairness, tolerance, self-control, courage, knowledge, perseverance, honesty, and respectfulness of oneself and to others. When we go deeper, you will understand that when we say moral, moral means the things that are good, that you willingly choose. You know that there are some things that are not good, but morally you willingly choose what is right to do at the right time. Let's take it to the entertainment. A moral person cannot miss a location. When you have been casted for a role, you cannot miss that role. You cannot miss that location. You already be booked or you as an upcoming actor, you are given a script, you have been told a role to play. Then maybe because of a birthday party, you will decide to yank that location that you're supposed to attend. Then that is not a good moral conduct. Then moral is when a person understands right and wrong and willfully choose what is right. I repeat, moral is when somebody understands what is wrong and what is right, but willfully choose what is right. Then moral is opposite of immoral. When we say immoral, immoral is when a person knows what is right, but willingly choose to do what is wrong. Then an example of, an example of immoral behavior is murder, to murder somebody, stealing, lying, and rape, breaking promises, these are immoral. So immoral is an opposite of moral. Taking it to the entertainment, you as an actor, an upcoming actor, which you will be a superstar someday, any moment from now, you need to know that you as a person, you have to be moral. You when, when you as a, a person, you are not a director or a producer, you have the upcoming ones, the younger ones coming under you. You shouldn't indulge yourself in rape, in murder, telling lies, breaking promises. Uh, maybe like, maybe this is a script, this is a script. You promise somebody a major role or in one, one way or the other, you have a promise that people have made to each other. Then getting to location, many people do this in the entertainment, in the industry. Getting to the location as a director, an upcoming star or an actor can just come and offer you a, offer you a, sum, of, a sum. Then you will take that role from that person that you're supposed to give that particular role to and sell it out because of what? Immoral. That is what breaking promises. That is corruption. You take, you break somebody's feeling just to please another person because of self-interest. Then this now leads us to you as a parent. You need to bring up your child in a good environment that we teach that child the way to behave when he or she is with her parents outside the home. Creating an environment in the home that promotes the character that you want that child to portray outside. 
what are these characters? For example, you as a parent, you need to monitor your child, correct him or her from the wrongdoings, like telling lies. Maybe you caught your child with something and he or she denies it immediately. Correct her, rebuke he or her. Don't spare the child for you not to, don't spare the child. Correct her, whether in the hard way or in the soft way. Make sure you impart that character that that child needs to, that, that, that character that that child needs to flow with his or her pearls outside the home. The people you see today that involved in kidnapping, in rape, in murder, in different manner of things and immorality, they, 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 our parents, you as a parent, played a major role, a lead role make in, ma in making them behaving in that way. For instance, a child who is not working come home with an expensive phone. You did not ask he or how, how did you get this phone? You embrace her, you welcome her home. You as the parent, your child comes home late at night. You did not rebuke her. Why are you coming home late at night? And he's not yet an adult. Let's say at the age of 15, 14, 15, coming home late at night. You also open the door. You offer him or her, her meal and he or she will eat and sleep. They will feel and think that is the way of life. You as a person have a major role to play in making you a moral person. When things, are, things that are good are said about you at your absence, it's more better when you are seen, they praise you just because of what they are going to benefit for you. But when you are not there, they will definitely and eventually tell the persons around you the bad character that you have exhibited. Many people today that you have seen that are actors and actresses, that you see these people, but within a short period of time, you no longer see them. People no longer use them, why? When they make inquiry, is social person, how can I make sure you say, no, that person is not, is not well behaved, you cannot, you cannot. No, no, you cannot. That person will fuck your location up. That person will mess your location up. That person will do this, that person will do that. What are we saying with this? The way you behave to people matters a lot. But I would have loved to expand because uh, I've prepared many things here. I would have loved to talk about the government, the role that the government need to play, and that the role and uh, every other person need to play in moral conduct. But right now, the time is far spent. Maybe our next class will treat some other things and make sure when you are coming to uh, something like this, get your pen and get a paper where you can put down something. Sometimes don't say that uh, I will go back after the class and play the video. Sometimes you may not, God forbid, you may not get some videos. Uh, sometimes may, something may happen and the video will be deleted. Something may happen. You will, able, you will not able to have access to that video. That's why it's good for you to get your writing materials in a program, like in a lesson or in a class like this. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. I remain your David White. Thank you. Thank you. Unmute and clap, guys. Unmute and clap. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank all right, thank you so much, David White. That was a very lovely lecture. Yeah, before we move on to the next segment, I just want to give you guys three, three or four tips about what David has just said. 
have a mind. Anger, anger, anger is a killer. Anger, small thing, you flame up, small thing, you just scatter everywhere. It will make people to run away from you. It keeps your personality. People will run away. Have that in mind. Anger, control it. Another thing, pride. Pride. Who does he think he is? Who does she think he is? I beg, pride, pride, pride. Even Bible talked about it. The Bible states that pride goes before a fall. Humility is an integral part of, a, of your character. Always portray humility. No one likes a proud person. Listen and take that, take, take note of it. Anger and pride is bad. Integrity. It is good to have some level of integrity, no matter how it is. Don't allow money to rule you. You know, because of money, you can do anything in the entertainment industry. If you started that way, you have fallen. So have some level of integrity. It will help you. Gossip. Work on gossip. Gossip is one of the biggest killer. You must not get yourself involved with it. The person you are talking to about another person, gossiping them, will turn around to gossip about you. The moment you go off, it is your story. Gossip, women will do it a lot. Apology, even when you know that you are right. And you see that the, the other person is angry, killing himself or herself, open mouth and say, I'm sorry. It does not mean that you're wrong, God, that you're stupid. You know what you're looking for. A lot of people are so proud. They have lost a lot of blessing. I'm sorry. That small word will just change so many things. People say, ah, that girl, that guy ah, he, he is a nice person. So learn to apologize. Learn to say, I'm sorry. You get so this. A few ones I've added to what David has said. If you put it into practice, it will help you a lot. All right, let's go to the next segment. We have three minutes, but I'm going to take like five minutes of your time because I want to put, I want to spotlight our participant for a spontaneous act right now. Control room, if you don't mind, please quickly. 50 minutes each spotlight. I am Daniel Ayabe and Uche Purity on the screen. I want the two of them on the screen quickly, please. Thank you. Uche and um, Purity on the screen at the same time. Yes. Um, Uche, Daniel, unmute yourself, please. Daniel, uh, Daniel is your husband in this particular narrative. Quickly. Daniel, Uche is your wife. I, I'm acting according to what the College of Judges has asked, just, have just asked me to do. Your wife came back. Uche, you came back from work late and your husband has been home doing nothing. And you came back from work and you are very tired and he asked you to prepare him a meal. We want to see your reaction right now. The two of you are on set. Did you get the narrative? Yes, ma'am. You are back from work, exhausted and tired. Your husband has been home, lazing around, doing nothing. And he asks you to make him a meal. We want to see your reaction. Action, Uche and David, Daniel. Oh, baby. Like, you are not serious. I should go for you. By this time, oh, it's serious, baby. I've been working all day. Just help yourself out in the kitchen. Oh, I mean, okay. you hold, okay. hold it there. Your yes. husband is a camera. I want to see you react. I want to see your expression. Whatever you're talking, assume that David is the camera, your camera. Yeah? Action. Oh, honey. honey, you can't be serious with this. I've been away all day. Like, I'm tired. Like, I'm, I'm finished. Uche, you we can't need to see you. Uche, Uche, we need to see you. Yes, an actor that is not seen. It's not a good actor. When you're acting, if, if your head is cut, that means we are not seeing you fully. That's it. Action. Like, only you can't be serious with this. I've been out all day. Like, I'm so tired. I can't, I can't really do that, please. Just help me out. Okay? I mean, I've already made this food. They're already in the refrigerator. You can't. Use the microwave or something. I can't really do that, please. I'm tired. 
I mean, all I think about Elvis. is how to take my bath and go to Elvis, my Are you not talking? Bathroom. It's your wife. She's talking to you. Yeah, I'm letting her to speak. Then I will drop my lines, man. How long are you going to wait her to speak? You only have 50 seconds. Okay. Oh, hold it. Did you ask me to slow down when I was sending you money to make your hair? Did you ask me to slow down when I was sending your family money? Do you know how much I spent on your family? Can you imagine what I've been eating okay. since morning? Snacks, and you expect me to be happy? I put food on the fucking God table. Thank you. God, thank you. The, the girl that just want to see an expression of anger. But I don't know. All right, that's fine. God, thank you. We've seen your actions. You've done well. Thank you. They've taken note. Control room, bring on stage Nasakri and Precious, please. Nasakri and Precious on the screen. Thank you. Precious Ajay and Nasakri on the screen. Nasakri, you have 50 seconds. Your camera is Precious. Precious, you have 50 seconds. Your camera is Nasakri. Nasakri, you came back from work. And you saw precious your wife on bed with another man. I want to see the action, your reaction. Are you ready? Did you get the narrative? Yes, ma'am. Your wife yeah. on bed with another man, you're back from work. I want to see you clearly. I don't want your head cut. Please. Yeah. Oh, honey. Your yeah, action, you can start. Honey, I'm sorry. Honey, please. Honey, I just did this thing because I needed to feed our children. Honey, please now. You know I love you now. You don't even have money in the first place. I'm just doing this thing so we can feed. Honey, I'm so sorry. Please. We are not too quiet yet. We look hey? quiet. What is wrong with you? You are still... say about me. You know Honey, what? I'm the only thing I have done for this family. I sleep with different <laughs> men every day. And now you want to go behind me and tell the whole world? Honey, please now. Honey, please. Don't be this now. Honey, no. what do you want? No, you can't, can't, you, can't, you can't do Honey, this to me. Honey, you know I love you so much. I will do anything for this family. Love what? Please. Your death. Me, please, you I'm are sorry. living this now. now. God, no, thank no, 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 you. No, no. You can't tell me that. God, thank you. I am giving you narratives according to what I'm asked to give to you, and they're taking record of it. Once you are on spotlight, even if your wife is talking or your husband is talking, you can talk over him or you can talk over her because we only have 50 seconds for these performances. I am spotlight, Tracy DK. And marvelous Ine on the screen, please. Thank you. I can't see. Okay, that's it. Marvelous. Yes, yeah, I am asked to to tell. Uh, I mean, um, um, marvelous Ine, you are drunk, vomiting. And um, Tracy DK, this is your husband. We want to see how you can look after him. As you as you came in from the from the kitchen, you saw your husband vomiting all over. We want to see your reaction. How you can handle your husband at that point in time, at that point in, in at that point in that situation. Are you guys ready? Did you get the narrative? Your husband is vomiting. It appears he's not feeling well. You walked in and saw the situation. Let's see you act and perform to that. If you're ready, action. Uh, honey, what happened? Baby, what did you, where did you go since now? And look at what you've done to yourself. Please come. <laughs> <laughs> After you say I'm a bad wife, come now, come, 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 please, come. I'm not coming come. inside. Come this please. house is somehow. I'm coming come in. now, please. Now you don't need to fight every day. Now I'm not the one that go and drink. Now come, because ah, come. Look how your body. See how you are smelling. You just want inside the gutter. Please smelling. Ah. I can, 
I didn't you believe it. You are calling, you are calling me wrong. Thank you. God, thank you. This is, I think, you are calling me wrong. The message now for the of judges. That is fine. That is fine. They, they've taken notes. They've just seen what you guys have done. Who have I not mentioned here? Yeah. Who have I not called on the live screen? Jennifer Oyari. Jennifer Oyari, it appears you're alone because um, Eno Martin is not here today. Take a minute, stand up, and do a 50 second speech presentation. Tell the whole world your wish, your wish on first step to stardom. Do you get the narrative? Yes, sir. Action. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oyira Chilika. I am from Portugal State. I live in Lagos, Nigeria, Lake precisely. Um, I'm here to tell you people about a platform called First Up to Stadium. It's a platform where we have charity organization. No money is being taken. You have a sex. Can we see your head? Can we see your head, please? Yes, yeah, stand there. You're moving too much. Are you dancing? No. Are you asked to dance? Yes, ma. Are you asked to dance? No. Ma? Are you asked to dance? No. no. Okay. Action then. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oira Jennifer. I come from Crossing the States. I live in Lagos, Nigeria, Lake precisely. I'm here to introduce a platform called First Up to Stadium. It's a platform where we have charity organization. We have many people to register from Nigeria, Dubai, UK. You can register free and you come and see yourself streaming on live stream. You see yourself acting movie in any of the country. Any of the country you want. God, got it there. What's your wish? What is your best wish on this okay. platform, First Up to Stadium? I also want to tell you that I wish to be the first week of first of the stadium to be streaming live and to be entertained the whole world. What makes, what makes you think you can be the winner of this um this contest? I, I believe I'm um, social by God's grace, it's not by me. And I also believe in the scripture that says it's not of me that run it, not me that win it. So that's what I believe. And I have faith. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. We have gotten what we want from you. That's um that's all for now. Um, before we go into the final segment, I want to see precious on the screen, please. Thank you. Precious, I don't want you to say any word. I don't want you to talk. I want you to use an, an expression, body language. Let's see you upset. God, thank you. Tracy on the screen, please. Body language and expression. I want to see you happy, smoking happy. Take five. One, two, three, four, five. Action. <laughs> oh boy, see my. Don't say anything. No, don't express. Just I want to see your body language, please. Okay, okay, ma'am. God, 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 massacre, massacre. Body language quickly, body language quickly. Let's see you pray. A prayer warrior. Body language expression, yeah. Action, action. God, thank you. Which purity, please? Which purity? Body language expression. I want to see your expression of madness. Action.
God, thank you. God, thank you. Daniel on the screen, please. Daniel, an expression, don't stand up the way you are. Act as a drunk. God, thank you. God, thank you. Who else have we not seen? Um, who is that? Um, um, Ine Mavlos, yes. Ine Mavlos, please, on the screen. Ine Mavlos, I want you, let's see you. Let's see you, um, let's see anger. Anger, expression of anger. Without saying a word. Okay, God, thank you. That'll be all for today. Um, I've just I've just done what I'm asked to do by the College of Judges. And um I know they've taken they're taking records. Yeah, they know why they asked me to do what they asked me to do. Okay, moving forward, David, quickly. Do you have anything to say before I, I just round up? Yeah, hello. <clears throat> what I just want to say is that uh, putting your best, you're the participant, and uh, the sky is your limit. Thank you. And uh, always, see, I emphasize on this, always come with your pen and your jotter for you to be a good student. And um, to Eno Martins, who is not here, uh, I pray that... Uh, God, we set him free just the way our other superstar here was set free. That is what we pray in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Thank you all, and God bless you. I remain your David, one and holy David White. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Um, we are happy. We are very happy for your success and how far you've all come. Thank you all for letting us train you. I've got several calls last week from our associates back home. They are interested in some of you. Yeah, we will update you as regards to that. You all know that she in a Winifred was here uh, on your audition day and she promised a movie role to the winner of this contest of season six. And remember, we will project all of you, first, second, and third winners on, uh, in our movies. So, but if you end your contest professionally as well, you will not miss out, okay? Have that at the back of your mind. Um, on our appearance after your graduation, whenever we make appearance, someone will leave us, all right? And um, I want you to know that all the votes beginning from the audition is still being compiled. So also know that um, every single detail thrown in the classroom from now is going to be very, very important and informative. So always be active in the class. All right. Moving forward, talking about your graduation, you've been given the details of how it's going to play out, how, the, how your, your big day is going to be. It's going to be a party you're going to celebrate with your loved one. With your, if, you, if it's your husband, wife, brother, sister, that is fine. But if you don't have anyone as well to celebrate with, that is okay. You can as well celebrate your big party yourself. The music that you've chosen is the music you're going to use. The reason is because of copyright. Take note, do not use any other music. It must be the music that we have um, given to you guys on the, pla on the platform. That is your classroom. Yes. Your certificates will be mailed to you before the end of today or before the end of tomorrow for all successful candidates. According to what the College of Judges has just told me from my monitor here, you guys are successful. Everyone on this platform has made it to have our certificate. Yeah, you can unmute and clap. 
You gotta mute yourself and clap. Thank you, Ma. Wow. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Ma. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you. And I want you to know that we are affiliated to Nollywood. We are also affiliated to Nollywood UK. That is to say that our certificate is honored. Talking about first step to start up. And I am also happy to let to announce you all that we got I got a call today from Zebejiro. Zebejiro is one of um, the Nollywood pioneers. He has been in the movie industry for over decades. He has made a lot of stars. None of Nigeria movie stars that do not pass through his office. He called me this morning to ask me to give him the name of our graduates in Nigeria. He's going to be featuring them in his movie. So that's a very big one. All right. So I also got some, some calls, like I said, about um, some of my producer friends were asking me about few of you, you know, because they are watching the program and most of you as well are going to be chosen, nominated to be in their film. So congratulations. Um, take this seriously. Listen very attentively. This is for all the students. On 21st October, which is next week, is your graduation day. You're moving into the eviction stage. Uh, for infancy, you have to submit your graduation ceremony party on or before Sunday. It was on Saturday, but I, we're going to give you one day grace because the editor needs time to put them together on or before Sunday. You have to go and watch, like I said earlier, the formal, the past uh, seasons so that yours will come out well. The reason why is because the College of Judges are sitting and they are gonna watch your graduation party. Your graduation party is gonna be a yardstick for eviction. As I'm talking, please, can I be seeing my, uh, our participants on the screen, please? Yeah, one at a time. Thank you. It's gonna be a yardstick for, for the eviction. That is to say that if your graduation party is top notch, you have a higher chance of coming top as the ultimate winner of this epoch making reality TV show. So take it seriously. You're also advised to invite friends and family to come and watch you live. How many people did you bring? You guys just come and sit. Do you, do you even share your live stream? Do you, okay, yes, Tracy, talk. Yes, I did. I have my family and my friends on, on, on live on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Voting for me. Okay, congratulations to you. What about you, Joy or Yari? Jennifer or Yari? I have my friends, they are watching me too, they are also voting for me. Okay, you advise them, you advised to bring friends, invite friends and family to come and watch you live. But if your friends and family are not free to watch you live, they can as well watch the they can as well watch the, 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 the replay and also vote for you. It's important. Take note of that. Yeah. So basically, after our, our graduation party next week, Thursday, whenever we make appearance here on our live stream, someone must leave. Whenever we make appearance after not next week, Thursday, we are eight in number, one or two persons or three persons is going to live. So give it your best shot. Do all you know you can and uh, leave the rest for the, the College of Judges to decide. This is to say to me, from me to you, you guys are doing well. I'm happy I'm not among those who are going to be you know, a victim people, or maybe, you know, choosing who is doing well, who is not doing well. I'm not among the people who are doing that. But I wish you all the best, at least everybody here. I think you are doing well. You made my day today, I enjoyed it. Before we round up, this is to say thank you to Thunder Scorpion. Thunder Scorpion just joined our YouTube member. He is now one of our member on First Step to Stardom. He, he, he was a member as well, on New Discovery TV London. And today, just now, as we are streaming, he joined our membership. Thank you so much, Thunder Scorpion. He is a very big fan to this brand. He comes all the way from United States, an American man who loves this brand so much. God bless you for your support. 
on behalf of the management and staff of the New Discovery TV London, we say thank you. Ajabo, thank you. Nollywood, thank you. All participants streaming from around the world, thank you. We'll be here again. Next week is a graduation day. It's going to be a big day. It's going to be a big party. It's going to be thrilling. It's going to be interesting and fascinating. Thank you all for coming. We love you. God bless you. Thank Bye. you. <laughs>